Hello Summoners, welcome back to the channel and in this video we will be talking about Red Goblin and he is a very underrated cosmic champion in my opinion and today we will be showcasing some rank 4 6 star gameplay huge shout out to Zoidy for sending this over we are going to start off with a couple of realm of legend fights then move on to some act 7 fights and then we have the end of the iron man infinity war fight in abyss of legends and also the end of uh, the star lord fight in labyrinth of legends so we have a like kind of a long video for my channel i usually make two wish one to two ish minutes video on average probably but uh, in this one i will try to explain his abilities his rotation what he is already here is trying to go for in my opinion like i uh, personally i have not played this character that much i have him as a five star and a six star and i have a rank like my five star one is at rank four i always thought that cosmic ghost rider in a lot of ways took the spotlight away from him because they were both released in the same month and he is definitely the better character of the two but at the same time uh, red goblin he has some really really good damage output the only problem is that it is kind of tied behind a ramp up but at the same time i will explain here that uh, overall if you consider he his dps it's still pretty damn good and he also has a decent amount of utility which is not very common in cosmic characters and uh, let's just start with his kit and how he uh, how it works now the first thing I want to talk about here is going to be the persistent charges and how they work because in this game there are champions like Morningstar who are extremely a completely different character like 1 versus 5 persistent charge then we have champions like Apocalypse and Red Goblin who for sure benefit from these charges but at the same time are still really really good and can do pretty much the exact same thing without well uh, not the exact same thing. Let, let me just talk about the persistent charges itself for him, which is called Bloodlust. And uh, you start off with zero. Every time you win a fight, you will gain one. If you're fighting a Spider Verse champion and you beat him, you'll gain two. If you are defeated yourself, if you lose a fight, you are going to lose one. Which is, I, I'm not sure if any other character actually loses his persistent charges. But uh, anyways, the, the main advantage of the persistent charges, like when you start the fight at zero, when the opponent is at 15% health, you activate frenzy. There is another way to activate frenzy, is the SP3. But uh, yeah, the ideally you want to activate it as soon as possible and the max is five stacks in which case every single like persistent charge gives you add 10 percent health so at two charges at 25 percent you will have frenzy at three charges 35 percent so similarly at five charges you will have 65 percent like you'll have your frenzy when the opponent goes below 65 percent so that's one thing uh, he's a character who kind of needs to build up I'm not even talking about the persistent charges like if you don't have them you pretty much have to go for sp3 to activate frenzy and all this talk about frenzy would probably make you think what does frenzy actually even do so uh, it, it does two things and in my opinion for attacker they pretty much the only thing that really matters it gives him more damage and more utility which uh, probably tells you why it is so important that you have frenzy uh, so the attack rating is obviously it increases your damage output but the utility you gain true sense buff and what that does is it will like completely bypass miss and auto block and on top of that he is already a character who kind of ignores evade of spider -verse. like uh, if you're fighting a spider verse champions they won't evade he's kind of like venom in that sense now Another thing that he has is symbiote buffs and they're basically buffs that you can get. You have three types, uh, energize, you have a fury and you have aptitude buff. Now a lot of cosmic characters like venom and stuff, uh, I've done a lot of damage comparisons and the thing is there's a huge huge difference in the damage output depending on a good run versus a bad run because the buffs they get are depending on RNG. And this character I always like when they give you a choice so with him you can to kind of choose what kind of buff you get uh, depending on the last attack before the special attack so if you end your combo with a light attack and then launch a special you get energized you end it with a medium launch a special get a fury you end with a heavy launch a special get a aptitude buff 
and if you don't know what an aptitude buff it increases uh, the potency of fury precision and armor ups and he, again i already told you how you get the fury so in that way he can counter nodes like buffed up and that's even not where the buffs end because you have another thing called carnage bombs which is uh, like you activate them on heavy attacks and special tools and uh, depending on what buff you have you do different stuff so if you have an energized buff you inflict power drain and uh, i don't i actually didn't knew he had power control but as you saw in the last fight it can actually be pretty damn good like you can it's not like magic you can't keep your oven end on zero power or one bar of power below like that uh, they, they're still going to use the special attacks uh, but you can prevent them from going to an sp3 which is always nice uh, it, it is a very solid ability to have and you also have like your fury buffs get converted into the armor bricks that's where the armor bricks are coming from if you see after the sp2 you have a massive amount of them and uh, the other buffs are converted into incinerate which is where the incinerators are coming from and uh, he has a lot of damage over time if you see on both again the heavy attack and the sp3 so overall his damage output is really good in a lot of fights like uh, if you have him add a decent amount of charges in a medium fight you probably don't even have to go for the sp3 because you'll get frenzy after a few like if you have five charges take them below 65 percent you get frenzy you go for one sp2 that should probably finish most fights i imagine you probably already noticed but after the sp2 we have so many incinerates and so many armor breaks that just having those debuffs there is so useful in a lot of scenarios for example if you are dealing with a fight where you have regeneration you encounter that you don't have a heal block option or a heal reversal option and these many debuffs plus despair mastery you can get through there and you know nodes like this track you wouldn't have any problems dealing with those if you have red goblin you have buffs as well so buffed up no problems there either so in short if you have red goblin or you just recently pulled him you're wondering whether you should rank him up here are some of the things that you get if you do end up using this character a really decent amount of dps burst damage you have damage over time as well utility wise you have a spider verse character counter no evades there you can counter miss and also auto block with your frenzy you have a decent amount of very weird but effective power control if you don't want your sp uh, opponent to reach the sp3 you have your buff so you can deal with nodes like buffed up you have a debuff so you can uh, uh, deal with nodes like this track and uh, champions who have regeneration and he's also immune to incinerate and power burn i'm not really sure where the power burn immunity comes in uh, like it is helpful but anyways if you have anything else then do leave that in the comment section like if he can do some other cool stuff counter some other cool nodes and overall you just get a very powerful champion with a lot of damage output and a lot of utility it's kind of crazy that even though he has it like has both of them he's still not considered one of the best cosmic champions and there are just so many better options for you like if if you ask me even after this video that should i rank up hercules or cosmic coast rider or you know hyperion or even corvus versus red goblin that i will i will obviously say the other those champions they're better but at the same time it's uh, really amazing it was pretty kind of my favorite thing about this game that you can still get so much out of a champion like if you have a, personally my favorite champion once upon a time used to be mephisto he wasn't the best but he got a lot of things done back in the day and he was my first rank 5 5 star and i kind of feel that red goblin is another champion that could be uh your mephisto in some ways but that's pretty much gonna do it for this one thanks for watching honey stay like this video share with the land stay safe have a good one and bye bye